Yeah, you better. How to make even pink lips in one session. Stay tuned, I will guide you through the whole process. By the way, Magnum Needles is the best for the lips. They reduce sensitivity and deposit a lot of color in one pass. Shop at Heavenberg online store. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell, like, comment, everything, everything, please, so I can continue to talk about the actual procedure. So we have a lips uh, a little bit pigmented. Uh, top lip have a dual color, dark and pink, and lower more pink on the center. So our goal to create evenly pink lip color. Uh, our client also have a little bit missing a cupid bow, so we will have to create because vermilion border is a little bit higher than actual pigmentation on the lip so we have to identify vermilion border and um, create even color so i use the threads i identify vermilion border i just leave it on slightly and i will use concealer to make it more so uh, that way I can see the edge, but at the same time I don't want to cover darker spots so eventually, because I'm going to work with different colors, I want to work on the darker areas a little bit differently using a light concealer, yellowish, yellowish concealer. <laughs> neutralization you have to know one thing you cannot deepen when you work with the white pigment you're gonna pull extremely hot pink and it's gonna look like vitilago and client will be upset even though in the future it will get stabilized and go back to normal within a month or so 
uh, you can have a little shocking situation so try to avoid that and remember every time you use pigment that contain white uh, that titanium dioxide is uh, something that you have to be carefully work with to deposit carefully a very little amount of concealer that I mix with the pigment so I use a single needle only for that reason not to create outline <laughs> Concealer actually is not on the Heavenberg line yet. I do not recommend mix different brands between each other during one procedure. Uh, you can't guarantee any outcome, but you also can have yellow a corrector color that is offered in correct corrector set by Heavenberg. So I'm going with the single needle over dark area so I use uh, I use as a guidance uh, concealer and I work strictly from the edge toward the dark area only for now so I dip into the yellow um, and pink at the same time It's very important to place, as you work with the lips, uh, work by sections and uh, movement very tight. Also not pre -num. It helped me to have a more uh, stable, kill, uh, some pigment retained better. Yes, it may be sensitive at the first, but we'll put secondary anesthesia right after the first pass. I mean, a woman can t tolerate anything. It's not the worst pain. I did my lips, I know. So I'm focusing only on the darker area. From the edge towards the center, which is where is my dark area. And I hold needle 90 degree and just like powdery motions back and forth, three passes. I want to use my first pass with more uh, corrector color only because we have to blend and I try to do we also can do this procedure with few sessions but I try to do maximum result with one session only that's why I use this concealer you can also use yellow
to stretch lips. Otherwise, not gonna work. Yes, it may be sensitive at first, but when you work with an even pigmentation of the lips, that's the only way. No pre numbing. You also can put numbing outside the border, not on the lips. It will help a little bit with numbing, and lips won't swell. But that won't work for the whole lips, just on the edge. Where is the white concealer? You could pre numb there too. But she's a tough one. secondary anesthesia I use duration I just put only on top lip because it opens only for open uh, skin and we put uh, one piece film barrier and tie so there's no air come through and that will help us to numb and also highlight the edge so we don't miss So now we're going to continue everything we did on the bottom, but if you see on the both sides on the bottom is also a little bit dark. So we have to do use two colors. You can mix them. I just want to have a maximum lip lift with first session. That's why I use two colors. You can um, do within a step, so with a few um, procedures, but I try to get maximum. So I use the same thing on the edges and then I use straight pink for the rest of the lip.
wrong color we can see lips got a little wider because anesthesia working and I switched to um, flat needle um, magnum needle by vertex is very nice so when you use flat or magnums is less sensitive with the powder technique so I'm just go back and forth working with the sections and color through all lips so I usually go section by section and I overlap that way is no gaps and pigment um, pigment deposit evenly that's very important for lips so if you ever wonder why you're doing lip procedure and uh, is nothing taken afterwards because you not deposit pigment evenly and you not stretch Don't forget to subscribe, otherwise I'm not gonna voice cover all these videos. Come on, subscribe. I, I threaten you. You have to subscribe. Fumble a bag, now I will not fumble a bag. Fumble a bag, now I will not fumble a bag. Like you know how this goes So we kind of repeat zigzag mo uh, movements back and forth, but from edge to end lip. So you repeat that after this pass, you, you start to really see color in the in the lip.
same thing on the bottom same sections and we'll color through you can even account three five up and down so we just have repetitive motions and then after I will switch directions and I will move down to end sideways that will also help to buy the pigment faster pigments and pink or light we call them tint pigments so difference is they not deposit in the skin as easy because titanium oxide but also uh, they are the most stable so they last longest because uh, titanium oxide um, because the white is when you see at the end you see a, a little white dots it looks like um, pixels is really will be dissolving in the skin after healing you of course you won't see any um, dots or, or spots so it will be really smooth even color but you just have to know the difference when you work with the actual uh, white pigment when it contains a lot of white pigment
hopefully after you're watching this video you can understand why you work with the lips and no pigment stain so you really have to work section to section and uh, have a proper pressure use different needles and stretch is most important and here we finish everything with the three passes and fourth pass was for correction and certain details um, we target certain areas only so lip does not take more uh, hour and a half in total procedure I, I put uh, numbing twice I do not recommend put more because the more you put anesthesia the less pigment uh, taken also when you put too much anesthesia you can actually um, overdo with the lips it's not helping if you put too much it's not really helping anymore so I'm just working on the darker area and I notice the lips get so much whiter because they're so numb. So you can get confused with the color. It looks like nothing takes. But in the end of the video, you see we waited 20 minutes. And I give her ice back to minimize swelling. And when numbing goes down, um, wear off, you can uh, actually see more pigment in the lips. So I switch to back to single needle and I just work on the details I always like when I work with the lips uh, go back to single needle take care of all details and edges it takes real good and I just target more darker areas switch direction cannot really work evenly throughout the whole lips if they all have a different colors because we try to make them all look the same So we don't have any contour here because this is not our goal. We don't create a contour. We're just working on 
color to make them more even and I just go each section separately because I still see darker areas. <laughs> Let me see you try. 
not the end color so in the end of procedure I always put color mask I deposit uh, pigment on top rub it in leave it on for two three minutes and give an ice pack on top so it help reduce swelling and save us some time yeah, you better. this video but we actually perform eyeliner cover-up and eyebrows for this girl but all that comes with a different video <laughs> <laughs> 